Good morning, everybody. Um, we're heading out of Ho Chi Minh City this morning. It's our first uh, trip out of town since we arrived about two months ago. So really excited about this. It's a special weekend too because it's Steph's. It's my birthday. <laughs> yes, it's her birthday. So um, we're going to have a little uh, night away and go and vlog somewhere else than Saigon. Yeah, and it's our first time leaving the cats, so because it's just one night, we're leaving them at home. Um, we're a little bit worried, but I'm sure they'll be fine. We left them with heaps of food, heaps of water, heaps of litter, so I'm sure it's fine, but still, it's a little bit nerve-wracking. It is a little bit nerve-wracking, hey? So, um, yeah, let's do it. Yep, the car is here, let's go. So we've got an overnight bag packed and a camera bag. We've also got the new drone, and uh, let's head out, Steph. Let's go. <laughs> Woohoo! And here's our ride. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Off we go. Set, Steph? Yep, all set. Let's do it. Let's go. Bye, Ho Chi Minh. See you in a couple of days. All right, so it's about time we came clean with where we're going. We're going to Muine. Moine, yeah, so it's about um, four hours north of uh, Saigon. Um, it's just an overnight trip. We booked this transfer, private transfer, through Monet Private Transfers. So, pretty simple. Uh, just contacted them on WhatsApp, got back to me, uh, gave me a price uh, 1.7 million. Not a bad price. We got a beautiful car, Mustang. So, happy about that and uh yeah heading out of the city now yeah and so far like they, they showed up before time about 15 minutes they uh told us whenever they were there he's been a good driver and so so far so good really excited and because it's you know three almost four hours to get to mune i think that this is the best way to do it um if you can get a nice car good driver and you have the cash great way to travel there yeah yeah, who wants to muck around with the bus or the train, eh? Especially the overnight bus. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's all right if you're backpacking and you're here for a month or so, but, you know, when you've just got one night away, you don't want to be spending it on public transport. All right, we're about halfway. We've just made a little uh, impromptu toilet stop. And I have to say that's one of the best things about having your own transfer. You decide when to stop. And so, yeah, this was great. As soon as we told him, he just pulled over and all's good now. Yep. <laughs> Ready to go again. Ready to go. So we opted for the private transfer for this because we only have a weekend. And um, we wanted some comfort, a little bit of luxury on the way. And this was only 1.7 million each way. So that's a pretty good price. Um, if we were taking the bus or the train, we would have to get to the train station, wait for the train or the bus, and then we would have to um, get a taxi once we got there to our hotel. Whereas this is door to door. We're just going past some dragon fruit farms. I never knew they grew on such a plant. Very similar, I guess, in some ways to a cactus or a uh, prickly pear, in fact. Interesting. We've arrived. 
life. What a way to travel. Definitely recommend a private transfer. Unless you are on a very tight budget, if you come here, that's by far the best way to travel. You just go door to door. You don't have to worry about paying for taxis everywhere. I also heard it's difficult to get a taxi here. Yeah. And so this made it very easy. Yeah, this this area um, in Moine and outside of Moine, it's quite difficult to get a taxi. So um, you might be able to pick one up in town to come out, but you can't get one back. So definitely door to door, get on your tour, make it easy. Uh, it's a great couple of days away. We're at the Radisson. Hello. Hello, we have a booking. Yes. Uh, so please wait for a few minutes. I have to get some Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Formalities for check-in done. However, we couldn't go to the room just yet. Yep, not quite ready yet. Um, our transfer got us here a little bit too quickly. So we're gonna take a little look around the resort at the moment. Let's do it. This is a breakfast room. We'll enjoy this tomorrow, but today we're on our own. Very nice. I like that. So it's been a while since we've stayed somewhere this nice. Yeah, I think maybe Egypt was the last time, which was over a year ago. So yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, definitely. Radisson. Fun Tiet. Pool area. Looks nice. Particularly nice if there's not many staying at the moment. That it is the weekend and this is where Saigonese come to play so it might not be that quiet the whole weekend. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. And the beach. Nice cabanas. And here's our room. Looking swanky. Very nice. And the view. How do we get this door open? Nice seating area. Beautiful vibes out there. Can't wait to unwind. Lovely uh, vanity. Nice shower, handheld and a rain shower. Decent size. Toilet, of course. Everything that you'd expect. Uh, mini bar. What do we have? Oh, the usual. Sure, at a premium. Tea and coffee making. Four bottles of water, that's nice. And though it might be a bit small for us, what I like here is instead of slippers, we have flip flops to go to the beach. We do, we'll go to the pool, yeah. Yep. Uh, nice. I can't think what they're called. Robes? <laughs> yeah, bathrobes. <laughs> bathrobes. Long time since I've had a bathroom. All right, looks lovely. Got a lot 
colder when it rained, yet we were out in the, at the pool, and now it's hot as heck again. I just got out for like a minute and I wanted to jump back in. So um, anyway, it's been fun. Uh, this seems to be a very family-friendly um, Radisson, so um, it might be a good idea if you don't work to come during the week. <laughs> Is that Unless some you advice? love children. <laughs> Is that some advice? A little bit of advice. I mean, if you've got a family, then maybe it's great to come and join other families on the weekend. But if you don't, yeah. <laughs> All right, birthday girl. So how's it going? Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to get out of the city. I wanted to relax. And tomorrow we got a bit of exploring to do. So, yep, perfect. It is perfect, isn't it? It's yeah. really beautiful here. Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm actually surprised. It exceeds my expectations. Indeed. breakfast here cold meats some breads some sweets the usual kind of fare juices it's looking a bit run down some fruit lovely tropical fruit and here we've got our continental salad and of course you've got your usual hot foods oh, it's it's nothing special, it's just a regular international buffet. There are quite a lot of uh, Western items on the menu though, so that's nice. And we're starving because we've just come back from being out. Uh, looks like you've got a nice plate of brekkie there, Steph. Yeah, you know, pretty standard fare, but it'll do the job. Nice. Me too. Got a, my fair share of bacon. Some sweets and we're looking good. All right, so let's sum up our stay here at the Radisson Fantiet. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say uh, the hotel is fantastic, it's beautiful, the grounds are gorgeous. We really enjoyed the swimming pool area, also the beach frontage was very nice. It's a nice beach to go for a walk along, it's fairly clean especially in front of the hotel they've kept it nice uh, the room too was very well appointed uh, no complaints whatsoever gorgeous bed nice down pillows tea and coffee making facilities all the things you expect from a good hotel so the radisson the grounds the hotel itself absolutely fantastic totally recommend staying here now whenever it comes to the staff i have to say like they have their heart in the right place the smiles are there and they're trying their best, but I'd say they could use a little bit more training because it's the little things that really take a good hotel up a notch to be a great hotel. So, you know, for instance, we called last night because we needed some more uh, tea, sugar, those types of things, and housekeeping said they would bring them and they just never came. Um, and so those types of things, they didn't impact our stay, but it would be nice and it would actually take the stay from a good stay to an exceptional stay. Finally, um, it's the food, and I would say the food is pretty average. Um, so we, we ate dinner here last night. It was fine, nothing to complain about, but also nothing stood out. And same with breakfast. Breakfast was fine, nothing to complain about, but there wasn't anything that I'm gonna remember a year down the track about this stay as far as the food goes. So perhaps taking it up a notch, having some signature dish, those types of things could make it really outstanding. Well guys, it's been a beautiful weekend away. We're absolutely loving our Vietnam life these days. Much ado, we're gonna say goodbye for this one and we'll catch you in the next vlog. We're Girls on the Loose. We are, bye-bye. Catch you next time.